I am super excited about this video because in this video, I'm going to show you 10 brand new storage hacks, DIYs, things to make RV living easier, small life easier, and all of these are also very renter friendly. So if that's your situation, I've got some gems for you. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Is charity and my husband Ben, myself, our two kids, our dog, our cats. We have been traveling the US in our RV for close to five years now and we have learned a ton along the way. So if you're interested in RV tips, hacks, places to eat, places to visit, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can get notified every time that we release a new video. So in today's video, we are gonna jump right in because I've got some brand new tips that I know you're gonna love that are just going to make your life easier when it comes to storage, organization, small living, and some fun travel tips too. So let's jump right in with our very first hack. With our very first tip, is getting these hangers. Now I picked these up on Amazon and these will actually hold eight tank tops versus putting them on individual hangers, which saves a ton of closet space. The other cool thing about this particular hanger setup is you could also use these for sports bras or other types of tops that have more of the slim line strap. You could use it for belts, purses, all sorts of things. So I'm using it for all of my tank tops. I love tank tops, so I have quite a few of these and then just put them in the closet so they still stay off of the floor which keeps everything nice and clean but i gained a ton more closet space this way so i'll put a link for these in the description below So my next hack is actually a Dollar Tree DIY, and that is this earring organizer here on the back of the closet. Basically, what I did for this one is I picked up a picture frame and then also some of the shelf liner paper from Dollar Tree, and then put the shelf liner over the backing, took out the glass, and you can use this to hang up any of the fish hook style earrings. So it's a great way that I can have all of my earrings on display. I can see right at a glance just what earrings I have, what I want to match with my outfit for the day, but it keeps them up and out of the way. It frees up cabinet space, just a really fun way to organize this. And then to attach it to the closet wall, I just use some Velcro command strips. So no holes in the wall, great renter friendly option too, if that's the situation you find yourself in, but very lightweight too. So I love this for RV storage. So the next thing that I have found that is absolutely amazing for RV life is this slim line laundry basket. Now I picked up this one on Amazon, very inexpensive, but it's nice and compact. And then you can just pull this tight on laundry day. So it holds your laundry in there and then you can fold it back to put your laundry in. But the one thing I love about this, especially in our closet, is it has a very small footprint, so it fits underneath of things nicely, and it's a great way to store your laundry. So the next hack that I have for RVing is using these velvet hangers. Now, I cannot tell you how many times using the other hangers that we would get somewhere on a travel day and things would have slid off of the hanger using the plastic style hangers, especially if you have shirts that have more of like a silky type fabric to them, tank tops, those types of things. So if I'm not hanging my tank tops that I'm now using my other hangers for, these velvet type hangers will keep clothes on the hanger. So now this is a tip that is great for RV living, but it's also great if you just don't have a ton of storage space for your clothes, or if you're going to be traveling and you need to try to fit clothes into a suitcase or a smaller space. This is a hack on how to fold your shirts. You can use this with t-shirts, you could do this with sweatshirts, any type of fabric that has just a little bit of elasticity to it. What you are going to do, is you're gonna just fold up the ends of the shirt and then you're gonna fold it about two thirds over on this side and then fold it up the rest of the way on this side and then flip it around. And then what I'm gonna do is just roll this up and then I've created this little pocket here. So then I just bring this over the top of my shirt. And so now this is folded up nice and neat and I can just put it in with my other clothes and it takes up way less space than if I just 
have a shirt wadded up in the suitcase. So this next hack is great for RV life, but it's also great for traveling. One of the things that we're looking forward to doing this year is potentially doing some other types of travel versus just the RVs. We're considering things like cruises and traveling internationally, which is going to require bringing some clothes with us out of the RV to other places and using a suitcase, which we haven't done in a very long time. You do find the need to do that every so often, even when you're RV living. So this particular stow and go that I picked up on Amazon is great to be able to make that transition very quickly as far as packing a suitcase. So you just have your clothes in this here, you've got your shoes down in this zipper compartment here, and then this whole compartment comes up and out of the closet, folds together, goes in your suitcase, and then when you get to wherever you're staying, your hotel or your cruise room, wherever it is, you just pull it out and hang it back up in the closet of where you're going. Makes it really super simple to pack, but also to stay organized as you're traveling. So I hope you're enjoying the video so far. You're gonna have to leave me a comment below and let me know which one of these hacks has been your favorite so far. So another thing that we use in our RV all of the time are command hooks. Now I just recently found this kind of a little bit of a different style with the smaller wire type hooks. So I'm gonna actually use a couple of these in the closet to hang up some backpacks. We use backpacks a ton with RV life to be able to go out and explore and, and see new places. And so we frequently carry a day pack with us with things like food, water, snacks, and have to have a place to put them in the RV when we're not using them. So I'm gonna actually put one of these in the closet and get our backpacks hung up on this so they're up and out of the way. So a product that I've recently been introduced to that I love for RVing, but also is great for just people in general, are these slipper socks from Winnie's Socks. Now, what makes these so different from just your ordinary slipper socks is that Winnie's actually makes these special overshoes. So when you are wearing your nice, comfy slipper socks, you don't have to take them off if you need to go outside. So if you need to take out the trash or in our particular situation, if I wanna take Alaska out to use the bathroom and I've got on my nice, comfy slipper socks. Well, I don't have to take them off. I can just slip on one of these overshoes. These actually have magnets in the back and then these magnets click in to the overshoes so they stay nice and snug they don't fall off of your feet and they're super easy to take off hands-free when you come back inside so we have partnered with winnie's to offer a discount to our viewers all of that information will be in the link in the description below so moving right along to the next hack but i do have to tell you this I think is the absolute best. I'm saving this for last. I'm gonna show you what it is and what it does just a little bit later in this video. But first, <laughs> this is a new travel hack that I just learned and my mind is literally blown right now. <sighs> that is a way to travel with these smaller necklaces without these getting tangled. Now I can't tell you how many times, especially our daughter who is 11, loves wearing necklaces like this and she comes to Ben and I frequently untangle this necklace. <laughs> so this is a way that you can travel with these without just throwing them into some sort of jewelry case or into a suitcase and having them get tangled and that is use a drinking straw. So basically what I'm going to do is just feed this necklace down into a drinking straw and then clip it together and that's going to keep this thing from getting tangled up in whatever i decide to put it in so if i put it into just some sort of zipper bag or wherever i put this in a suitcase i now have a tangle free necklace for traveling this hack is seriously genius so the next tip with travel storage organization is picking up a simple case like this. I picked this one up at the Dollar Tree to store other jewelry items. So before I did the earring holder, I had them in here, but I like my other holder better. I'm using this right now for bracelets. You could also use it for smaller earrings that aren't the fish hook style. Lots of different just 
small items that you want to travel with i really like having it in this case because if you have a home base like we do very easy to just take out of a drawer there bring it into the rv put it in a suitcase makes travel super super simple and you can stay very organized for cheap so this next thing that I have to show you about has actually been a big problem solver for me as of recently. Now, if you've watched our channel for any length of time, you might know that we have done quite a bit of renovations on our RV as it is a little bit of an older RV. One of the things that we did was we actually got rid of a lot of the mirrored surfaces just because they looked and felt so dated. Well, a little bit of a problem with that is that I lost a lot of my mirrored spaces that I would actually use to to apply makeup or do my hair. I have found this nice little compact battery operated mirror that I can set out and then put in the cupboard during travel days to be able to do my hair and my makeup. Works great, it's very portable, easy to travel with too if I need to throw it in a suitcase and take it with me. This is something that I recently found that I am absolutely in love with. And what this is, is that this actually suction cups, now this is no joke of a suction cup, it is tight. Suction cups to your shower wall, gives you a place to rest your foot so you can shave your legs in the shower. Now, I understand for you dudes out there, probably not as big of a deal. But for us ladies, especially RV showers, like they're tiny to begin with. And so versus trying to do this crazy dance of not falling on our behind while we're shaving our legs in the shower, you can remove it if you end up with a new rig or again, if you're in a renting situation, super renter friendly because you're not drilling any holes in the wall. I really wish I would have found this a lot sooner. So found it on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description below. <laughs> Oops. Hold on, I'm gonna have to open up from the top. So you'll have to let me know in the comments below which of these hacks was your favorite or if you've got just some amazing hacks that help with RV life and small living, I would love to hear it. I'm gonna put a playlist right up here with more hacks that we've also discovered. So you're gonna wanna check that out right up here. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll see you in the next video.